Welcome, Anthony Hudson with you. Alongside me for this match will be Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Hey, Hutto, really looking forward to the start of this one. Today we have Essendon coming up against Collingwood. Converge for the toss of the coin. Collingwood winning the toss. Round 20, just waiting for the opening siren now. Big contest underway at the MCG. Hands that ball to the opposition. He's in his possession. Quick handball. Adam finds his man on the move. Hoskin Elliott gathers it now. Does well to keep it in play. McKenna marks. Looks to move it by foot. Rushes with the kick. Finds a bit of room to mark. Goes with the kick. Phillips hacking it out of there. Marks now and can send it back. Packs it forward. Finds this one all by himself. Moves the ball by foot. Good mark there. Gleeson uses it by foot. Beam determined to reach the ball. Gathers it now. Grundy dishes it off. Dugowie finds possession. He takes the shot. Collingwood sent one home. He's enjoying that goal. They draw first blood. We're back in the middle to resume play. Grundy up to clear. Adams gets right in his face. Great tackling technique. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Dugowie marks in a bit of space. Ambrose drops the mark. Hookick sees off Thomas. Hookick turns a free kick. Alex to kick. McKenna the better man there. Looks up with a kick. Adams gains possession. Scoops up the ball. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Just dismisses his opponent. Cutler didn't mark it. Danaher drives it out of the pack. Coughed up by Parrish. McDonald Tip and Woody hacking it out of there. Fantasia hoping to level the scores right here. He's excited about that one. That's the first goal for the Bombers. Taps it down. Fighting hard was Eppel. Thomas throws the ball away. McKenna kicks it. Cutler takes the mark. Just kicks it long. Langdon looks to get onto the football. Collected by Smith. Maynard rushes with the kick. Does well to cut off the kick. Decides to go to the middle. 
A good mark out of the circumstances. Kicks to the square. Taking a nice grab. Sinks the slipper into it. Awkwardly got the handball out. A clean pickup. Trelaw unloads one towards goal. Long kick there. Will it go all the way? It does. That's his first. He celebrates hard after that. Collingwood lead it now by a goal. About to resume play. Slapped away. Has it now. Wins the race to the ball. Mops up the loose ball. Drives it out of the pack. Barco wins the marking contest. Needs a big kick if he's going to put this through. He slams it towards goal. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Uses it by foot. Takes a strong mark. A spearing kick from Gleason. Off the deck. Touchdown. <laughs> Hurley assessing the options. Plays on to himself. Goes by foot. Gets into some space to mark this. Slams it on the boot. The mark has been taken. 50 metres from home. He goes it alone. Barco with a massive goal. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. His teammates rush over. Collingwood could kick the last two goals. The lead is now 13. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. That's a really good team goal. Back in the middle, has the rucks go at it. Punches it clear, takes possession. Cutler gets the loose ball. We'll get a ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Adams links up with a chance to run. Racking up possessions now. Couldn't get the hand pass away, so he just threw it. Merritt goes with the kick. Maynard takes it well. Adams gets on the end of this. Moves it by foot. Cox uses the body well. 45 metres out. He drives it towards goal. Good looking kick off the boot. And it's sailed through. He's enjoying every second of it out there. This kick puts them further into the lead. Cox couldn't be happier with that goal. Gives it to Broomhead. Ambrose dug out the loose ball. Scoops it up. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Puts boot to ball. Open opportunity for McKenna. 50 metres from home. Going for goal number one. Essendon are happy about that one. Essendon keeping themselves in it. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. They can link up now. Pendlebury can't hold on to the tackle. Adam, there's the siren for the end of the quarter. The scores to Collingwood, 25, to Essendon, 12. Collingwood have come to play. They've got themselves in the game and need to push on now. Plenty of goals in the first quarter in what looks to be an exciting contest. Time to take a look at the stats. The Magpies can't winning as much of the footy, but it's... The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. We're back in the middle now. Grundy gets onto the ball. Trelaw unable to hold on with quick hands. Merritt just put it on the boot. Intercepts the ball well. Langdon drives the kick. 
Paris runs after this one. Picked up by McCoon and Appleby hacks it out of there. Makes it somebody else's problem. Picked off the deck. McGrath receives the ball. The loose ball picked up. The loose ball scooped up. Going for goal number one. That's a big one, I thought. That could have been a big goal. Essendon now only trailed by 12. Chris to bring it in. McCoonan landed in his back on this occasion. Sharon Burke keeps that one low. Ball up calls. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Cutlap runs onto the field. The umpire will throw it in. Toss back into play. Thrashes it. Collects the loose ball. Trying to avoid everything out there. Moore charges with intent. Hacking it out of there. Heffel gathers it now. Stewart keeps coming. He wins possession. Zaharakis is streaming past and gets the footy. Ball collected. He gets another possession. Slips the handball to Charenberg. Picks up the loose ball. He has the ball. Taken by Guelphie. Townsend goes to the man on the run. It'll be a ball up. Punched away. Opportunity for Hoskin Elliott. Hit the man hard. Contest the hard ball. Doing well to intercept that kick. Collingwood just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. The umpire calls for it. Thump by Roughhead. Just gets a boot to it. Heffel picks up the loose ball. Heffel just threw it. Moved on by Zia. A chance to gather the ball. Trelaw. Hurried kick. Scoops up the ball. Just gets it onto the boot. Thomas couldn't snaffle it. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Clears the contest. We'll have another ball up. Thump clear. Redmond shows some physicality. You'll have to do better than that next time. Collingwood, 26. Lead Essendon, 13. Looking to bring it back into play. McKernan landed in his back on this occasion. With a driving kick. The mark is taken by Trelaw. Plays on quickly. Hoskin Elliott couldn't hang onto the ball. A quick handball from Tard. Puts on a bump. Cutlack applies a bump. He gets his hands on the footy. He's got the football now. Three for a mark. Points the difference. Hurley with the kick in duties. Cutlack looking to track down the footy. The ball mopped up. Just gets the hands free. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Beam pushes through with power. The loose ball picked up. Kick by McKernan. Townsend puts on a big hit, wants to keep it moving. Intercepted. A clean collect. Handballs. McDonald, Tip and Woody getting in on the act. Just put it on the boot. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Applies a bump. Langdon with a short hand pass. Quick hands, and they could be away here. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Dugowie with a low spearing kick. Ends up turning this ball over. McGrath keeps it moving. Ambrose has a teammate on the move. Barco brushed off easily. Hits the target by hand. He looks like he needs a spell. He gains possession. Cox throws the ball away. The kick from McKenna. Dug out by Ambrose. He drives it. 
Ends up marking uncontested. The Magpies haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Using every ounce of energy he has left, Dugowie takes aim. That one will really lift him. No doubt about it. Gets some reward for his efforts. Collingwood by 20 points. Umpire ready to resume play. Swanson, he's got the football now. He has the ball. This is McGrath. Marks now and can send it back. Collingwood have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Chris missed an opportunity to mark. McKinnock spills it. Has a man running for him. Hurried kick. Finds a target. Quickly onto the boot. It looks like the ball will be coming back. Clears the ball from the contest. Langdon dug out the loose ball. Fends off the tackler. What a brilliant tackle. Well, it's half-time, Gaz. What are your thoughts at the major break? Collingwood have controlled the play well and deserve this lead at half-time. Let's see what the stats have to show. Collingwood have been giving the opposition a chance to move the ball around freely, which is working. Ready to begin proceedings in the second half. Back with another centre bounce. Punches are clear. The bounce made it tough for Hooker. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Langdon takes a strong mark. Collingwood are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Gleeson thanks to Lynn. He's barely touched the ball lately. Adams fouls through the tackle. Nobody can hold on here. Missed the target. Ambrose quickly onto the boot. Good body work to win the mark. Got boot to ball. Good grab there from Shield. Spears the ball. McKernan not getting much of it, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hutto. Thomas has a great set of hands. Puts boot to ball. Gathered by Jarenberg. Uses it now. Varko kicks hurriedly. Did well to keep it in. Marcek going for number one. Well, they have to trap this ball inside their own 50 and cause a turnover. Collingwood with the ascendancy over the Bombers, leading 34 to 13. Dug it out. Manages to get a hand away. He's got the footy in his hands. Hurley pumps the ball long. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Releases by hand. He's leading the ranking points. The opposition need to get a hold of him. McKinnock now. Ball stripped in the tackle. Chris handballs out into space. Has a runner alongside him. Hurley just dismisses Trelaw. Just gave it away. Dishes it off. Rushes with the kick. Takes the mark. A stab kick from Varko. Marks that ball uncontested. Decides to kick. A lot of possessions for him. Over the top of the pack. Oscar Elliott to have the shot from outside 50. Can he put it through? That one hits the woodwork. The margin is 22. Saar to bring it back into play. Finds this and marks well. 40 metres from home. Phillips decides to go to Lone. They'll be ruining that opportunity. Now they lead by 23. Sard unsure of the next move. Marked by McKenna. Slams it on the boot. Marks all alone. Sinks the slipper into it. Takes that one strongly. Couldn't take it. McKenna collects the loose ball. 
Stewart used the body to take that mark. Uses a short handle. Goes back to where it came. Kick goes inside the 50. He makes that kick count. Full price. To go in. Enjoying that goal. Collingwood, 42. Clay Fessenden, 13. Ruffin with the punch. Sear lobs the handball. Main grabbed the clean. They take the advantage. A chance to reload the attack now. Clearing kick out of the defensive 50. Wealthy leaps over the top. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Does well to cut off the kick. Advances now. Good mark and looks to send it back. Goes by hand. Takes possession. Beams running off for a break. My ball, says the umpire. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Fantastic tackle. Slams it onto the boot. And the umpire will ball it up. Ruffin clears the contest. Sear got him high there. Moves it by foot. The ball finds Harris. Collingwood just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Ends up turning this ball over. Stewart collects it. Just got the hands in the back there. Stewart moves it now. Clean pickup by Parrish. Gathers it now. The ball spells the hooker. Going for goal number one. Lucky to even score with that shot. They really needed a goal there. Margin in a really tricky situation. Good mark by Ruffhead. Uses it by foot. It's a foot race to get this one. Gets a quick kick away. Main slams it onto the boot. The loose ball scooped up. Spent that one before he earned it. Maynard failing to get near it, Gaz. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, Hunter. Keeps it moving. It's a turnover. Merrick with a penetrating handball. Ambrose just gets it onto the boot. Doing well to intercept that kick. Looks to move it by foot. How did you see the third term, Gaz? The Magpies will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. Kennick, the number one ranked player on the ground. He's having a fantastic game. Umpire ready to begin the final turn. Centre bounce. Punched away. Up for grabs for Apple. Finds a way through. Here's Grundy. Kicks hurriedly. Thomas wins the ball in the air. Hold on to the ball for a few moments and just take the sting out of the game. He gives it a ride. Moscanelli doesn't take the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. Hooker was taken high in the tackle. A piercing kick from Shield. Uses it across half back. Collected by McKenna. Puts it on the boot. An easy grab for Zaharakis. Chose to kick it. A mark by Ambrose. Elects to kick. A solid mark from Parrish. Goes with the kick. McDonald, Tip and Woody. Leading the race to the loose ball. Beam just goes bang. Maynard drives it out of defensive 50. He just sets the ball well. Stenberg with the opportunity in front of goal. 50 metres from home. Move it on. Going for goal number one. Unbelievable. And they put it through. He acknowledges.
raises the crowd. The Bombers behind by 22. Grundy with the hit. Zaharakis with a clean collect. Getting pushed out of the way was Broomhead. Ambrose gets a quick kick away. McDonald tip and Woody takes the mark uncontested. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, it just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. He did really well there and gets the reward. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Essendon need to continue to take their chances in front of goal. It's the only thing keeping them in this. Showing some really good pressure there. Handball finds Grundy. Broomhead, hurry kick. Collects the loose ball. Going for goal number one. Brilliant stat. Puts it through. Grundy celebrating hard. Collingwood go back the Bombers by 22. Back in the middle now. Winning it was Grundy applying the physical pressure. Welfy with quick hands. He's really making an impact in this game, Gaz. He's been superb today, Hutto. Redmond kicks out of the congestion. Finds himself in space and marks. Collingwood just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside field. McDonald's tip and Woody right on the edge of his range. A 45 degree angle for this shot at goal. Going for goal number one. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. He loved that one. Essendon behind by 16. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Great bit of play that resulted in that goal. The Magpies are taking their time and kicking to smart options inside 50, and that's having a real bearing on this match. Welfie can link up through hands. McDonald, Tip and Woody has a chance to put a second goal on the board. They get around him after that effort. That's two in a row for Bessenden. Just under two goals, the difference now. Cutler cuts it off. A chance for Chiel. Outstanding pressure. Phillips can balls to no one in particular. Just manages to release the kick. Pendlebury doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. Stands tall and marks. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. He slams it towards goal. Strong mark in the contest. Maynard puts it on the boot. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Going for goal number one. He's put it through. Pretty happy with that one. What a tight game we have here. Thump by Ruffin. Danner just threw it. With a driving kick. Ball collected. Hurley wins it back. Just put it on the boot. Fantasia had it, lost it. Harris picks it up. Mops up the loose ball. Beam gets the loose ball. Pushes off the tackler. Intercepted. Just threw the ball. Looks up with the kick. Doing well with the mark. Stewart kicks it. Sharon Bird takes a strong mark. Moves the ball by foot. Moore gets in a good position. Out of bounds in the pocket. It's a big stage of this game. The ball is coming back into play. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Links with hands. Has it now. Finding the ball was Gleason. Gets a hand to the ball. Finds the loose ball. Broomhead short by hand. Finding the loose ball was hard. McGrath grabs that one. 
Moves it on. Goes by foot. Gives it. Don't argue. Is in his possession. Clock running out in the final term. He has to hold on to those. Looking to kick goal number two. A race for the loose ball. Cox going for number two. Collingwood by five points. Hurley weighing up the options now. Danner marks in a bit of space. Sinks the slipper into it. We came here hoping for a close game, and that's exactly what we got. Gary, what do you make of the result? What a game it was, Hutto. So many moments that shaped this one, and we have one team that managed to get the job done at the end. Thanks, Gaz. At the end of the match, the Magpies defeated Essendon 49 to 44. On behalf of Gary Lyon, thank you for joining us. We'll see you again soon.